so in this video i wanted to do something a little bit light on the light side and also on the motivational side for you as a content creator i am sure you guys have heard me i think you're way too close let's put you somewhere here i hope you'll still be able to see me as you guys already know that i am on a mission with my youtube channel to create a youtube millionaires in africa because for the longest time we've been seeing a lot of youtube millionaires coming from canada from the uk and from the usa and some like sprinkled around the world because they caught youtube at the right time where the wave was swelling and they made a lot of money because of uh, that reason and a lot of kids as well before uh, copper kicked in in 2020 a lot of little kids were making millions of dollars on youtube and i was thinking to myself in 2024 who are the top 10 richest youtubers i'm talking youtube millionaires but when i looked at the list i mean i was looking like thoroughly but every list that i found in 2024 it's it kind of like rotates around the same people and I was asking myself why the same people are still YouTube millionaires so many years later. Then it hit me that, uh, yes, the reason why they are still the top 20, the top 10, top 5, etc. and so on is because those millions that they made 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 3 years ago, that money still exists. They are still worth in millions of dollars. And some of them have even branched out and abandoned youtube and branched out and became business owners some of whom i'm going to talk about who those people are who started off as youtubers made their millions and then started their own companies their own brands and made even more millions out of that some are still youtubers to this very day and racking in millions of dollars every time they post a video that video takes off and hits something like 200 million views others 65 million views others 10 million views and they are in the high end paying niches as a result of that as well so i thought let me bring those to your attention inspire you motivate you and show you that you are not wasting your time maybe not all of us are going to end up as youtube millionaires but those that are going to be the lucky ones and actually break through and become youtube millionaires and be counted amongst these guys that will make me extremely happy especially if you are a follower of clancy's dumagude on this very channel as a business partner i mean this is something to be proud of right so i then uh, went down the rabbit hole and then i got an article that i think was the closest to the truth as i even myself when i'm looking at these numbers i'm like yeah yeah this is plausible this is plausible because uh back in the day i think as far back as 2019 where youtube was really really paying these guys they still indeed have some of the money if not more because they were able to open companies now you must also understand that this money that they made is not exclusively from google adsense but also from sponsorships and brand deals and also merchandises that they have created and sold on their youtube channels so that all included that makes the current net worth okay so i got this article from vanguard which uh, the heading is okay the article was uh, published on the 31st of march 2024 uh under entertainment uh column and the heading is top 10 world's richest youtubers in 2024 and uh okay there, as you can see that's the youtube logo here is a list of the richest youtubers in digital entertainment industry in 2024 i'm gonna read a little bit about the article so you also get an idea how they are ranked the way they are in the dynamic landscape of online content creation, YouTube continues to serve as a platform for individuals to showcase their talents, entertain audiences, and build lucrative careers. Mm. There are a number of YouTube users, also known as YouTubers, who have made a name for themselves while sharing engaging and immersive content 
on the platform that generates millions of views consistently. Here is a list of richest YouTubers per favorite in the digital entertainment industry in 2024. So this is within the favorite, like the favorite YouTubers. That means that there are other YouTubers that are multimillionaires. It's just that they did not make it on the list because they are not the famous ones or the favorite ones by millions of people, possibly even hundreds of millions of people. So number one is Jeffree Star, who is estimated net worth at $200 million. Multiply that by 19 if you're a South African citizen. That's like, what, around 3, 4 billion rand? Wow. This is just a YouTuber, by the way. A YouTuber. Known for his makeup tutorial, beauty product reviews, and cosmetics line, Jeffree Star has transformed YouTube fame into a thriving business empire. Now, what is the common denominator here? Jeffree Star does uh, makeup tutorials, also beauty product reviews, and cosmetic um, line. So meaning that his niche is around the beauty niche, right? Or around the makeup niche. So you see why niching down is important? Because it pays as well. He is a loyal fan base and diverse revenue streams including his cosmetics brand. Remember, he started off as a YouTuber, made some millions, and then he created his own cosmetics line called Jeffree Star, I think. Uh, have earned him substantial income. This business venture developed into one of the biggest hit in the beauty industry. Jeffree Star has also invested in the cannabis industry, real estate, and merchandising. So these now are other streams of income that were born out of his YouTube Google AdSense uh, money. And then he built these empires that they're talking about. The second one is the obvious guy, Mr. Beast, who is estimated net worth at $120 million. With a massive subscriber base and a reputation for extravagant stunts and philanthropy, Mr. Beast tops the list as the second highest paid YouTuber. His videos often feature jaw-dropping challenges, giveaways, and impressive acts of generosity. Sponsors and brand uh, partnerships have played a significant role in his success, allowing him to channel resources into charitable endeavors, which have further cemented his position as a YouTube icon. The evolution of Mr. Beast's rise to fame in July 2023, Mr. Beast shared with his Twitter followers that a recent video produced an estimated cost of $3 million, earned him $167,000 in advertisement revenue within just a few days. $167,000 in South African uh, term, we're talking millions of rands here, over 10 million rand, I think. As for uh, diversification, the 25-year-old, 25-year-old has branched out from video making and now has his own fast food chain, Mr. Beast Burger. Even in the comp, even if uh, the company is now suing him for a hundred million dollars. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but again, this YouTuber made his millions from his Google AdSense, and then from there saw other business opportunities, and then uh, took that money, invested in these uh, businesses, and they make far more than uh, they earn on YouTube. Number three is Like Nasja. I hope I pronounced her name uh, properly. Again, guys, some of these YouTubers, they are kids. They're like kid YouTubers who are millionaires. This is before copper. This is before the, the stuff that I always tell you, do not put your children on your videos. That's before that. And they made their millions. So like, like Nesja is one of those uh, little girl YouTubers. Her uh, worth, net worth is estimated at $104 million. Nesta, a young Russian YouTuber, has risen to prominence with her fan... Oh, my goodness. 
Why didn't I switch out? I'm so sorry about that. Uh, uh, we fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> we fixed it. Has risen to prominence with her family friendly content, including tour reviews, vlogs, and educational videos through strategic brand partnerships and merchandise sales. Nastya has become one of the wealthiest content creators on YouTube, captivating audiences of all ages. I think she was she's like 11 year old, something like that. And then another youngster, uh, the richest nine year old before copper again, uh, is Ryan's world estimated net worth at a hundred million dollars. Since his meteoric meteoric rise to fame, Ryan Kaji has maintained his status as one of the wealthiest YouTubers with his engaging toy unboxing videos, educational content, and merchandise empire. Ryan continues to captivate young audiences worldwide, solidifying his position at the forefront of YouTube success. He is at number four. At number five is Paul Jake, estimated net worth at $60 million. Now, I'm not quite sure which one of the Pauls this is because one, there's no way he could be worth, the one that I'm thinking about could not be worth $60 million. I think he's worth far more than that as a co-owner of Prime with another content creator I'm going to mention a little bit later by the name of KSI. They co-own Prime. You know that energy drink everybody was uh, on top of, I think it was last year. Yeah, they are the co-owners, unless this is the other brother. Um, probably is the other brother because the other one is Jake Paul. No, this is Jake Paul. I think this is the Jake Paul which KSI. So this sixty million dollars, I think, is outdated. I think it's far, it's worth far more than this. Maybe in the hundreds of millions. I'm not quite sure. Jake Paul is uh, has become an online powerhouse, but his path to fame isn't for everyone. He rose to stardom with sometimes shocking content on Vine uh, and now closed platform. This approach, while creating a huge following, also made him one of the uh, least popular YouTubers, according to user reviews. Paul hasn't let the criticism, criticism slow him down. He's turned his online fame into a money-making machine. High-profile boxing matches like the one against Nate Diaz that reportedly earned him $2 million. Just punching somebody, he got $2 million as a YouTuber at the time. Uh, just uh, one piece of the puzzle, music and sponsorship add, uh, add to his financial success. Number six, Dude Perfect is a group of guys. They do like some stunts and boy stuff. Uh, estimated net worth at $50 million. Recently, I heard they also scored themselves a $100 million deal, according to CBN. So yeah, they, they are wrecking in the middle, and they are still YouTubers to this day. The sports uh, entertainment group Dude Perfect continues to soar to new heights in 2024, with their captivating trick shots, humorous skits, and collaborative endeavors, the members of the Dude Perfect have cultivated a massive following and lucrative business opportunities, securing their place among the richest YouTubers of the world. With a hundred million dollar, I think they they kind of they their ranking has to go up. At number seven is PewDiePie who is estimated net worth at $40 million. Despite facing competition and controversy over the years, PewDiePie remains a dominant force in the YouTube landscape with his loyal fan base, diverse content, and entrepreneurial ventures. Felix Jaberg uh, continues to amass wealth, 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 wealth and influence, solidifying his position as one of the richest YouTubers in 2024. I think it's from Sweden. At number eight is Ninja, who is estimated net worth at $40 million. Ninja's infectious personality and top-notch gaming skills propelled him to superstardom on Twitch, the world's leading platform for live streaming. 
He later transitioned to YouTube, further, further solidifying his online presence. For a brief period, Ninja even dabbled with a Microsoft Mixture platform, uh, reportedly inking a multi-year contract worth a staggering 20 to, uh, to $30 million, according to Forbes. However, Mixture's uh, closure in 2020 forced him to return his focus to YouTube. Ninja's content re recipe is a winning mix. Gameplay highlights that showcase his skills, informative tutorials, and exciting collaborations with fellow gaming uh, celebrities. This engaging formula has translated to significant financial success on YouTube. Major brands have lined up to partner with him, showering him with lucrative sponsorships and advertisement deals. At number, at number nine is Markiplier, who is an estimated net worth at $38 million. Mark Fitchbutch, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry, Mark. Better known as, the, as Markiplier, maintains a strong presence on YouTube with his gaming videos, vlogs, and charitable initiatives. With a dedicated fan base and the diversified revenue streams, Markiplier continues to thrive as one of the top earners in digital entertainment industry. I remember watching one of his videos where he was uh, questioning the YouTube algorithm when it came to black people. At number 10, Dan TDM, estimated a net worth at $35 million. Daniel Middleton, is he related to Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales? Or Dan TDM remains a prominent figure in the gaming community with his Minecraft gameplay uh, videos and family-friendly content with a dedicated fan base and strategic partnerships, Middleton continues to thrive as one of the top earner, earning YouTubers in 2024. Now, these are the top 10 wealthiest YouTubers in 2024. They are, as you heard, they are worth in tens of millions of dollars. However, though, as I was busy going through this list, I was like, hang on a minute. I don't see KSI, I also don't see Marquez Brownlee, whom I think they deserve to be mentioned too, but this is a top 10. And unfortunately, this top 10 is not diverse, which kind of like also makes you wonder, hmm, was Markiplier a little bit correct with his rant about how the YouTube algorithm may not be favoring a different kind of people? I'm not going to get into that. Politics is not my brand. Other than that, I let me check where i got some information about marcus brownlee i wrote the notes here because i was once again i know that marcus brownlee is a millionaire he started youtube when he was nine years old or 11 years old and he was do he does to this very day uh tech review like all these gadgets that you see new cell phones new uh teslas and new anything that has to do with technology He's the guy who has the authority on YouTube, I believe. And I think he has about uh, 20 million subscribers. And he gets like 16 million views in an hour after up uploading. Almost like what Mr. Beast does. When he, an hour later, Mr. Beast already has 100 million views. Uh, Marcus Brownlee is somewhere around there. Same goes with KSI. And so I was looking and I was looking once again in the rabbit hole. Uh, Marcus Brownlee's uh, net worth in 2024, according to Forbes, because I was not sure if this is the Forbes or something else that estimated his net worth at $8.5 million. I was like, I don't think so. I, I think it's far more than that. So I dug a little bit deeper to check if there's any different, um, what do you call this, information about Marcus Brownlee's uh, net worth. And then I came across this article by Medium. Now, Medium, this article for me, I was like, yeah, that's, I would accept this uh, figure because they estimate his net worth 
at uh, 45 million dollars in 2024 i can believe that i can believe that even though i believe it's a little bit more maybe around the 55 60 million dollars but i'm okay with 45 million dollars then i wondered about ksi who's also another black youtuber who's also a millionaire that branched out from youtube using the millions that he made out of youtube and he's a british black youtuber and uh, he is a co-owner of prime that energy drink with i think jake paul or yeah jake paul and uh, it says this is an article by Finn Bold that says the KSI's net worth is estimated at $150 million uh, as of June 2024. I can believe that because Prime, when it was launched, what happened? The world went crazy. Everybody stood in long queues. You went to any store to go buy it. It didn't. It was out of order or it was not there <laughs> or whatever the case was and um and they made a lot of money so when they say his work net worth is 150 million dollars i can believe that even though i think it's a little bit more than that but let me not argue with the science that is done here and accept that he is worth 150 million dollars but before he uh became what do you call this a business person i think that 8.5 million dollars is what he was making on youtube on an annual basis that part i can believe because he used to do like uh fifa highlights and he would also do commentary on soccer the whole typical uh british soccer talk type of situation which is something that we also have here in south africa so he was making his millions as a youtuber from that content so now if you're thinking that uh, you may be wasting your time and why, why no, they all started like you and i did they struggled just like you and i did mr beast took him three years to get his first 1000 subscribers on youtube three years and today he's the biggest youtuber on the planet and he makes hundreds of millions of dollars a year from his youtube channel so if he can do it so can you marcus brownlee um ksi they also started just like you and i they struggled to grow their channels and just like you and i are struggling to grow our channels but subsequently this is where they are today so that is why i am very confident with what i do here and tell you that i want to see youtube millionaires created out of all of you that watches my videos that is why i'm a bit strict with some things that i do say here on my channel it's all to your benefit and changing your lives